What's going on guys? I'm a regular guy with the Regular Guy Firearms channel. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I get a lot of questions about left-handed stuff and, and lefties that want advice on certain things and uh, very often I get a comment uh, here and there when they see like AR videos and stuff like that, you know. Oh, company X, name a place has a left-handed AR where the ejection port is on this side and all kinds of stuff. And they're like, well, why don't you just buy that? You know, and y'all read the title of the video. Um, and I stand by that statement because left-handed guns, left-handed only guns, are stupid. They are. Um, it comes as no surprise that lefties are the minority. Okay. So as a lefty, you have to acknowledge the fact that the world is right-handed and you're going to have to deal with right-handed stuff. So just on a realistic approach to everything, if you have a gun that's very specific to your gun hand, then you are now alien to the rest of the world, especially if you run that gun really hard. But, that's just a, but that is just a... Um, um, a realistic perspective I, I want to say it's not the word I'm looking for but it's a realistic perspective on the fact that you know you're gonna have to deal with right-handed shit so get over it you know and that's the biggest reason why I don't shoot left-handed guns and you guys haven't seen any because I don't care for them and the next thing is that although lefties have to deal with right-handed controls there are always more advantages honestly to being a left-handed guy or right-handed gun than there are disadvantages, okay? Like, let's look at something like an AR, right? Now, on a stock M4, okay, you have a right-handed only safety, obviously, to where that isn't there, it's only on the other side, and a right-handed bolt release, which is over here, okay? Uh, those are the only things that you really have to deal with as a lefty as far as right-handed only controls. Because I'm going to tell you right now that when it comes to you having to do a reload on just a stock bolt and you've done your thing and you've, oh, and a right-handed only magazine release. So you've done your thing and you've shot and now you have to do the reload. All you really end up having to do is just press that button, strip that old magazine out, and then throw the new one in. Now, the big advantage here is that you don't have to do anything else with, with your non-dominant hand. So you can start to go into a grip as you close that bolt. Okay. Um, so there's that option. It's a little bit easier for you to do that because if you're right-handed, okay, you're doing this slightly different because, yes, you have the magazine release on your side, but after you do the reload, now you still have to mess with stuff up here. And obviously, this is a training issue. This is very easy for a lot of right-handed guys to do. But it just seems a little bit faster on the lefty side of the house to not have to to not have to reach all the way up here and hit this. Um, well, for some people anyway. For others, obviously, it's going to be different. Okay. Another really big thing that a lot of that a lot of schools really have is that <clears throat> when they're doing their reloads and stuff, we've seen this a million times, where dude's getting ready to do a reload, and he's shooting right-handed, and as he's shooting right-handed, he wants to observe his ejection port and then do the reload. Now, I know very few guys that are really, really, really good at this shit and will actually look in there. Um, when we start doing a lot of things like that, a lot of dudes start going through the motions, right? Because you can always tell when someone is looking at it and just doing the motion to start the reload, right? And one guy that's really, really good at this, even though he's really fast at this, is uh, Travis. And, and uh, Travis Haley and Chris Costa. They both do this really well. And you can tell that they do it really well. And by the way, if you do do this, take note because when they when they start their reload you see them actually angle their gun up so that they can get a really good look at it so that once they see it they start their reload that way okay 
and it's already in their little workspace area that they like to say, you know. Now, what makes life so much simpler for a left-handed guy is that you don't have to do all of that shit, okay? Now, for a left-handed guy, and this is, this is something that is just, to me, it's so intuitive it's not even funny because I don't have to worry about looking at it because it's automatic at this point to where I'm doing shooting, I'm doing shooting, I'm doing shooting, and then suddenly my gun stops. And the first thing that, that's going to happen is I'm going to break off the gun, and it's already there. I can tell exactly what happened to that gun. Uh, obviously, more often than not, I just see a black hole, and I go to reload it. Okay. Now, that, to me, is the biggest advantage of every lefty in the history of lefties, is that ejection ports for right-handed people are on this side. Okay, the only negative aspects of being a lefty and being on this side are for two reasons, or for two particular uh, situations. One I dealt with a lot, and one I dealt with not as much. And the first one that I dealt a lot with was belt feds. Okay, if uh, you were a lefty and a 249 saw gunner or a 240 Bravo guy, uh, not so much a 240 Bravo, but definitely the 249. You ate a lot of gas. Okay. And that, yeah, kind of sucks, but suck it up. You know, it's not really that big of a deal on a rifle, unless you're shooting suppressed a lot. And even still, suck it up. Okay. So, that's like the only disadvantage really of just being on that side is that if you have a lot of gas output, you're going to eat that gas. It's not really that big of a deal. Um, so the only situation in which this makes any real sense is if you're using a bulb up, okay? Like a Tavor or something. Now, okay, I get it, but that's not what most people shoot in the States. You know, if you want if you want a Tavor, that's great. Do the left-handed thing, but just understand that you're now weird to the rest of the world. And me personally, I would just rather not. I, I would honestly just rather not be weird to the rest of the world because if some other dude grabs my rifle, I just want him to be able to use it. So, tips for lefties. Um, there are a lot of ambidextrous controls and stuff out there. Just make sure that whatever it is that you're putting on the gun mimics what happens on the other side, right? Just as a for instance. Safeties, right? Whatever it is, I want the exact thing that is happening on this side of the gun, okay? Um, if it's a magazine release, I want the exact same type of function on the other side of the gun. And so far, the best thing that I've seen as far as a magazine release for for that side is from Troy. Just because of how it leverages itself in a position and whatnot, I personally figure it to be the better Ambi Mag release for lefties. And yeah, the Norgans out there, I'm aware of it, but it takes more of a stabby motion to press that button. And for both the left and the right handed side, with the Troy, it's effortless in the exact same way and you just you mouse click it and the and the magazine starts popping out. The other one's a little more of a stabby motion, so I personally dislike it. Um, if you are running an ambi charging handle, understand, like I say, that if you are running a charging handle and you're left handed, do not get a left handed only charging handle. Yeah, they exist. And I won't even go over which ones that they actually are. Because Again, if someone else grabs my gun, okay, and this is for the dudes that are looking at the home defense options and stuff like that, anybody could be picking up this gun. They better be able to run it as a right-handed person because chances are you're the only fucker in the house that's left-handed. Okay, so if it is an ambi char or a charging handle that'll accommodate you as a lefty, make sure it's the same more or less on the other side. That's why I really enjoy the Raptor. Okay, because it's super aggressive and it works on either side. Okay. Lights and shit, people are going to have to get over. But that's a really simple thing that right-handed dudes can just accommodate for. Because if a dude is trying to use your light, he can just easily press that button. Okay. Um, 
and slings and shit, you know, again, people can get over that. But as far as controls to work the gun, make sure that if you're left-handed that it is ambi across the board. Now, some of you have noticed that there is a bad lever here, or on this gun. And some of you are probably already typing in the comments box, why do you have a bad lever if you're left-handed, you fucking idiot. Now, here's the thing. Bad levers, and I'm experimenting with this right now. I'm not 100% good to go on it yet, but that's only because I honestly just need reps and more time on it. But an honest complaint about the bad lever is that it tends to hook on shit. Okay, it tends to snag. Not on other stuff as a right-handed guy, but on you, right? Just hanging up on things like little like little buckles or snaps or pieces of your freaking pouches or whatever. People didn't like it for that reason, so they would start taking them off the gun. You notice that they were all the rage not too long ago, and then dudes just started magically throwing them off the guns and stuff because they were tired of getting their shit hooked. As a lefty, you enjoy yet another advantage of having an ambi bolt release in that if you wanted to do so, you could load in the same way as a right-handed guy and it is away from you. So you're not snagging anything while you got it on your sling and walking around forever and all this other crap. You don't have it hooking on pouches and shit like that. And it's just on this side. So what it turns into is an ambi bolt release rather than a bad lever. And if a right-handed guy picks up that gun, he could ping-pong paddle it like everyone else does if, he, if he's not familiar with a bad lever, or if he is familiar with a bad lever, he could just use it as it was originally designed. Okay. So, realistically speaking, it's not that big of a deal um, as a lefty to just acknowledge some of the advantages that you have in case you're not aware of them. And honestly, for guys that have asked me this question a lot, um, just stay away from left-handed only stuff. You know, unless it's uh, unless it's like a toy, you know, and you just want something different and you just want something to play around with because, let's be real, I bought guns because I was bored too, okay, and because I just wanted something new and nifty that I could play around with and then, okay, I put the same old boring ass Glock 19 on and all that other shit. So, that's really all there is to say on the left-handed stuff. If you found this informative, go ahead and let me know. Um, if you have any questions as a lefty, um, as far as like ambi controls or whatever, because I know that there's a lot to watch my channel very clearly, um, go ahead and throw them in the comments box and stuff below. I'll be glad to help guide you towards stuff. Um, if you're right-handed and found this informative and know a lefty out there that is just kind of on the fence about buying left-handed only stuff, send him the link to this video and we'll talk about why that's a dumb idea. Okay, so, you know, um, that's really all I got to say about it, guys. So I'm going to go to bed. I'm tired. I had a long day. So, remember, a regular guy's firearm is the last defense against tyranny. Be easy.